I was um, vegetarian and mostly raw for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And I just wish I'd have stuck with it. Mm -hmm. I think when you're on it and you start making a lot of exceptions, mm -hmm. then it's easy to just go right back. This is Carla and I'm Juliana. Hi everyone, how you doing? Um, we're here at the beautiful Woodstock Fruit Festival. It's 2017. Are you having fun here today? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Great. It's so beautiful. That's wonderful. So I had a few questions that I wanted to ask Carla because she's such a dear friend of mine and I just know. love her. She's so great. Um, I love you too. One thing that I really like about the festival is that people are just really loving here. If you want someone to change, be really loving to them. Yeah, that's the easiest way to change the world, I believe. So I just wanted to ask Carla a few questions. I was just wondering, can you describe your diet a little bit? Are you vegan? Do you eat meat? What, what kind no, of diet? No, no, I do don't. Have? I don't. I don't eat meat. Okay. Uh, so I eat everything uh, before coming to this festival, That's and so, so now I don't. I only, uh, you know, base my diet on. Um, plants because I yeah used to think oh you need to drink skim milk you need to have eggs and scrambled eggs and whatever fried bacon with it I grew up on a farm and just for some reason you know we had meat at every meal mm -hmm. you know sausages and bacon and I don't even want to name all those things fried chicken and mashed potatoes it's like almost gravy. painful to even say that right <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you have memories of the good times, mm -hmm. and you love your family and, and you know, people that you eat with, mm -hmm. and food can be kind of like showing love, you know, oh, I made this for you, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> it definitely has a cultural I was part, a I yeah. was a school teacher, you know, up in near Harlem, and there's so much, you know, you know, uh, food that can just put the pounds on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and you know with the with the uh kind of more fruit diet and salad diet mm -hmm. you can find a lot of fruit to eat I just know. love all the fruits and love vegetables what benefits have you seen once you changed your diet has there been any health benefits or um, especially for new people who don't know too much about this lifestyle, has there been any benefit to having more plant-based diet? It's been huge. What have you noticed? I, I lost some weight. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have any pain whatsoever. I never get sick. I, I used to have huge pains in my feet and my, my ankles were so sore, could barely work big pains in my back and my hips and my knees that once you are vegan that all went away it's all gone that, yes that's amazing it's all that's gone. really amazing uh -huh. you really had a life transformation <laughs> my first year or two i could barely do yoga class with ellen livingston mm -hmm. uh but now i i can do everything oh, in the really class beautiful. i went this morning and that's really beautiful <laughs> So you're doing yoga and your life just kind of improved a lot. And swimming. I love yeah. the lake here. That's really and, uh, neat. <laughs> um, went, went kayaking yesterday. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> so you've seen a lot of health benefits basically because went after you became a lot healthier. Yes. Um, I feel more uh, caring and more uh, open to people and mm -hmm. things don't rattle me as easy. helped was my first year at this fe fruit festival mm -hmm. I went to almost all the lectures and did you have a lot of support here yes did you feel like you fit in more I yes or? yes uh, so the lectures really helped a lot mm -hmm. and uh, 
seeing things on YouTube and online. Mm -hmm. And my son was a, a big encourager, oh, you know, great. to change. <laughs> ate a lot of cherries and apples and you had pears. We always made a garden mm -hmm. when I was growing up. So we ate a lot of fruits and vegetables. Oh. We had meat also. We always had this whole lifestyle plus Plus the meat, meat and dairy. It's kind of a so now we're just going to eliminate the meat and dairy. But I just wish I'd have started when I was your age. How and what would you say to people who are afraid of breaking away from fitting in with their peers and their diets because they're afraid if they're vegan they just won't fit in? Would you have anything to say to them? <laughs> I I say just just do it. You just know just. It. There's so many vegan restaurants uh, mm -hmm. that are sprouting up, and and go visit some of them. Take some of your friends there, mm -hmm. uh, have a picnic in the park, bring some fruit along. <laughs> I was um, vegetarian and mostly raw for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and I just wish I'd have stuck with it. Mm -hmm. I think when you're on it and you start making a lot of exceptions, then it's easy to just go right back. That's a good point. Like, that's a good point. As soon as you say, well, I'll just eat this or I'll just eat that, and then it kind of builds up. But if you can say, oh, I'm just not going to eat this and I'm just not going to eat that, then you can build it up in the right direction. Or if you just have a macaroni and cheese one day, <laughs> but just don't have it all the time. You know? And there's so many different levels of health, too, that once you're at one level, there's always more and more to go up. It's not like, yeah. oh, you're healthy or you're not. A lot of people think it's in a black box that once you're healthy, you're healthy. Well, <laughs> but the, it's not really like that, is there? Right, <laughs> and Juliana, I love your <laughs> your uh, Facebook page. Oh, thank you. Juliana Frutiana. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I mean, <laughs> it's really easy to make fruity drinks. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the most effective way to share the vegan message with other people is? Do I you have any I think it's ways? your own life, mm -hmm. you know, just, just um, be yourself and just live the way you want to live and, mm -hmm. you know, eat the way you want to live and others will notice. Good. Do you think like forcing people helps at all? Forcing? Forcing people to become no, vegan, to do anything? Is, forcing is not good. No, not good. <laughs> they're, they're still going to eat their hamburgers and steak yeah, or whatever. This is something I think that we agree upon a lot, that like forcing people is not always the best way to go about it. You just have to kind of be a role model. Would you agree with that also? Yes. And people will yes. follow you because they're ready and they're interested too and they're curious sometimes about your life. When people are younger, mm -hmm. it, it would be good to to always point out that you're eating the sweet deer animals. Mm -hmm. You know, I I I wish I wish I had really well. Now I never never could eat lambs mm -hmm. because well, I used to play with little lambs when I was a child because mm -hmm. I grew up on a farm. Okay, That's a sure. favorite question here by sure, the I, Festival. <laughs> I love mango and mm. papaya and, and I love grapefruits and oranges mm. and, mm. and uh, they're all delicious, aren't they're they? They're all they're all they're good. All so grapes, good. everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for sharing all this insight and knowledge oh. and we're so happy to be here at the festival. I'll always remember. I know. Carla. I we we, we, had so much we fun. took care of the children yeah. one year. We uh, we had so much fun. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so what have you been doing at the festival this year? Um, what have you been eating or seeing or doing? Oh, I've eaten durian mm. and mango and <laughs> he, salads with everything <laughs> on them and great dressings, nice. uh, sauces on them. We're still going to have coconuts. a lot of fun this week. We sure are. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Juliana. Um, Frutiana. <laughs> If you have any questions, you can either send me a Facebook message or you can write in the comments below and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.